back seven minutes now before the top of the hour. The Republican-led House set to vote for the cap, cut, and balance pledge on Wednesday, but President Obama says the bill is just a waste of time. Our next guest is a retired FBI agent who has literally had a gun pointed at his head. He didn't blink then, and he says he's not going to blink now. Republican Congressman from New York, Michael Grimm, joins us live. Good morning to you. Good morning. Nice to see you. So, okay, we saw that headline where you said, uh, you know, we heard last week the president said, don't call my bluff, and then right. we heard you say, look, I've had a real gun to my head. Yeah. I didn't blink then. You know, I think it's, it's about a message that we, this is serious. This is, in, in, to some extent, life and death for the United States of America. If we don't get our debt under control, we're not going to be the country we were. We're not going to have the opportunity for our future generations. And we have to stop playing politics. This is not a political football that we can just keep passing back and forth. We have to get serious. We put two plans out there. The president has yet to put anything on paper. Mm -hmm. He has no plan. And we cannot just continue to spend money we don't have. Yeah, sure. You're so, I mean, we've seen in Washington so much focused on this August 2nd date. Are right. you concerned that we should be focusing more long term, more down the road? Well, well no doubt. I mean, listen, the, there's, there's two things that are going to happen. Yes, we have to raise the debt ceiling or not raise the debt ceiling, and we're looking at a crisis because we'll default. Or down the road, if we don't deal with our debt, we're going to default. Yeah. They're going to downgrade us because the cost of our, of our debt will be so exorbitant we won't be able to pay it. Would you say right now that you will not go for the McConnell plan, which is a, a plan that seems to no side seems satisfied with but might be able to get you through this hump? The, my problem with the McConnell plan is that it's abdicating our responsibility. You know, we were elected, the Congress was elected to come in and make the tough decisions. And one of the reasons that I decided to run is that I felt that politicians on both sides have right. not dealt with our issues and have just pushed right. things off you, for the Congress. But in this age, of, in this current climate of divided government, you're not going to get everything you want. You know, and, it, and I'm fine with compromising. I'm not looking to get everything that we have to have, but we have to have some plan right. that deals with our debt. And I know that uh, the plan is House Republicans are going to uh, go ahead and bring out, there's the Mitch McConnell plan, a uh, cut, cap, and balance. Right. Are you guys going to vote on that? I think it's very sensible, cut, cap, this and balance. And, and the biggest thing that, you know, everyone's been screaming about, Medicare, Social Security. First of all, it's the president that puts Social Security on the table, right. not the Republicans. And, and this plan does not deal with that right now, but what it does is a balanced budget amendment, which exactly. forces that issue down the road. And look, 49 states have a balanced budget amendment. Obviously, the Congress can't live within its sure. means. So why not? Where's the I would like the president to explain to me, where's the downside Good to point. a balanced budget amendment? Good point. All right, Congressman, thank you very much for joining us thank live. You. you got a busy week in Washington. Good luck. It's right. going to be busy. Yeah. Right. Uh, meanwhile, straight ahead. So the president says you can't solve this debt crisis without asking the wealthiest Americans to pay their fair share. We're going to ask one of the wealthy Americans to pay his fair share.